It is uh, June 9th. This is Grand Man at McManus Meadows. Um, I'll give you a little bit of a tour of our water situation. So we're pulling water off of what we're calling the shack right now, which is where we're going to end up uh, in a little while. But uh, we've got these, uh, well, there's four IBCs, uh, three of them are 330 gallons, the other one's 270, they're full. And then from here, we are using gravity to fill this next one. And it's, uh, it's our oldest IBC, it's a 330 gallon as well. Um, I just walked by it, but uh, in the ground here, we have a 1,200-ish gallon cistern, um, and it's pretty close to full. As you'd imagine, after all the water that we've had. And then we're using, uh, if you can see the hose on the ground right now, I've got some, we've got another system that we're gonna put in place, and I'll share that when it happens. But this hose is taking water from the IBCs you just saw, and we're filling these two. Both are 270 gallons. Both are pretty close to full. Um, and then from there, we're using gravity to fill the two in the bottom, uh, in the bottom meadow. Now the trick going forward is going to be taking water, being able to move water um, from this bottom meadow up to the top uh, meadow and then you know, I think for the next handful of moves or handful of months we'll use the we'll just use the cow's legs to uh, to <clears throat> get to the water so just have a handful of water spots and keep a path for them to take advantage of the water. So um, you see this uh, the top IBC here is sort of half full and the bottom one's full. So right now we have a lot of water and a couple months ago we were running to town to get water. So I'm just gonna turn the tap on here and we'll start filling up the uh, the troughs. We had two inches of rain last night, so if I had a different system, I could have caught even more. Um, yeah, just uh, cows are, sorry about the wind, the cows are here uh, at the end of lane nine. And we're going to be moving them into the beginning. Lane 10, and later today I'll try to get the uh, later today I'm gonna try to get the four wheeler to move the the mineral feeder. I left an opening in the uh, lane. anyone's escaped. I will button that up. But everybody's relaxing on high-ish ground. I'm sure it was a woke up probably three-ish in the morning. And where we're staying right now we're about a 40 minutes south sorry north of here when I looked at the radar uh, there was probably two or three hours of solid rain uh, one of the guys at church from the neighborhood here said uh, they got two inches last night so fortunately it takes three to flood the field in theory 
Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back with the move. Well, it's time for the move. I just pulled the uh, hot wire that was uh, lining the east side of lane eight out. And we're all done with lane nine. So we're gonna try to get them over to lane 10. And then before I finish today, I'm gonna show you the creek after two inches of rain. Uh, the way I came down showing you the IVCs uh, didn't uh, didn't really capture what the two inches of rain does to the, the creek on the far end of this meadow. So I'll be back in a minute. Hopefully the cows will be on their way to lane number 10. Thanks for watching. Well, I just gave my call and uh, Goggles is on her way. Looks like everybody else is up. So, um, let's go. Let's see. Here comes Goggles, first one in. Paddock one of lane number nine. Ten, sorry. Ten. Gonna start squeezing the escape route um, south. So give the uh, areas that we've been in a chance to recover a little bit. For those of you that haven't seen it, there's uh, 4501 nursing with mom. Here comes JB. a little bit small but I'm gonna widen the uh, escape route so they have a <clears throat> fair bit more on the on the edge here as well Well, I'm standing here in the uh, escape route, and for those who have watched a few of the videos, um, and for we had a friend and his uh, son, and grandson over yesterday. Um, which would have been empty. But, uh, we had two inches of rain last night, and. Uh, this is the um, creek on the far end of the property. It backs up into into this area. When we had the big flood, um, I would have been waist deep in water right now. And yeah, so you can see how high up this has come. And I will, before the end of today, get you a picture of where the water is actually flowing. This kind of backs up, and then um, we haven't actually caught this on camera yet, but I believe it's this backs up, and then it, it spills over into the into the field. So, yeah, more to come. This is the creek at the end of... Uh, at the uh, south side of our property. You can see compared to the uh, the feeder, uh, I don't know what you call it, uh, feeding into this creek along the um, west side. The west side isn't moving. And so as this creek fills up, it backs into uh, the feeder. But uh, you can see this is moving pretty good. Hopefully there's no more rain coming. We'll check that out. and. Uh, 
with that this is grand man signing out thanks for watching that's the end for today thanks for watching we'll continue to share our journey at grand man ranch <laughs>